What up YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. Oh yeah, Thursday night video. We're out here with Lexi. Um, so guys, when we have a female come in heat from the first day of blood, at around day five or six, we take them to the vet to start doing progesterone tests. And it usually takes three or four progesterone tests to determine the day of ovulation. And then when we know the day they ovulated, we wait two days and do an AI. And then we skip a day and then do one more AI. So we do two AIs. And then from the date of ovulation, about uh, 28 days later, we get an ultrasound to confirm the pregnancy. And at that point, we schedule the C-section. And then the week of the scheduled C-section, we go to the vet to get an x-ray just to see how many pups there, there are and to uh, confirm our C-section date. And we did that this week with Lexi. And we have confirmed, you know, she's pregnant. And now we know she has three puppies and uh, she's gonna have her C-section this weekend. So Legends Littermate sister Lexi is having her three puppies this weekend, and hopefully if all goes well, uh, next week's video I'll be showing off the puppies and they'll be almost a week old. So here she is, Lexi, we're real excited about it. You guys know we're all about having the size and structure females um, that are such quality that they're the same size and structure we want the puppies to be. Lexi's under 10 inches tall, crazy micro, just like her dad, Mission. And uh, man, we're so excited for this litter. So here she is, you can see she's pretty big, she's showing, and only three puppies in there. And the, the male we use, Susio, he's crazy compact, but he has such a huge head. Um, I just know it's gonna click real well. And also I know it because Lexi's dad, Mission, was bred to um, Susio, the father's half-sister, and that's Champ's litter, so, and I know how those turned out. So I know it's gonna be crazy nice, I really appreciate you guys for watching. And let me see, we got Legend. Legend, come here. I'll show you guys, uh, we have Diego out here playing fetch and Legend. These are the two that love chasing the ball. So that is uh, Lexi's, for those that don't know, litter mate brother Legend. Legend was the just most massive, biggest of the litter. And then little Lexi was the tiniest of the litter. But um, here we are out here hanging out. We're looking forward to Lexi's litter. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, as we go along, I'm gonna really show you guys our whelping box setup and everything we do with the newborns. Yeah, guys, I'm really gonna take you along the process and show you the tools we have and uh, what we use with these uh, newborn puppies. Um, and one thing to remember too is when you're um, breeding dogs, females coming in heat and litter due dates and needs of puppies, they don't really follow you know, your kid's schedule and your work schedule and things you have to get done. So you have to um, really work your responsibilities in a lot of the times around the dog schedule, which can be tough, but you get used to it. And the more family and friends and people you have to help, the better. Um, but that's one thing, you know, I experienced this last month is I had so much stuff going on and I had Pepita come in heat. We have Lexi come and do. We had a lot of people um, stud into Legend in the last month. So it's been, a, it's been a tough one, but you just have to work around the dogs and do the best you can and get it all done. All right, YouTube, on to the topic for the day. What is the true a micro bully? Everyone says they have micros, micros, micros. What's the real height of a micro? So to me, if you have a wicket, which I don't, but I'm going to order one, when you measure the dog standing naturally from the ground to the withers, right here, from the ground to right here, is 10 inches or less. So everyone's saying they have a micro, but... In my opinion, they don't. Now, Champ and Pepita are true, true micro height. They're well under 10 inches to the withers if you measure them with a wicket. And if you see them in person, you'll know. I mean, these are the Lexi, Pepita, and Champ are the three true micros that we have that are definitely noticeably under 10 inches tall. Champ's eight months old, just turned eight months. He's not going to get any taller. He's just going to keep popping and getting wider and thicker and Pepita is over two years old. So they're true, true micros is full grown, under 10 inches to the withers, to the withers. And man, look at Pepita. I'm gonna take her in like three weeks to confirm if she's pregnant. But uh, all you guys that come from more of the American bully side, you gotta see a dog like this with the real short back, even though they have no tail, they're tight skin, they're solid muscle, thick from the front to the rear, a lot of bone, a lot of muscle. I mean, Pepita has the size and the look that'll make you fall in love with a real exotic bully style dog. She really does. When people come over, I like to pull Pepita and Champ out because to me, 
Lexi, Pepita, and Champ, like I said, are true, true under 10 inch tall micros that you don't see every day. They have that real next level, as short as you can possibly get height. And look at Champ still, the rear, the full tail. He's crazy, Pepita's crazy. So I'm gonna confirm Pepita soon. And I really appreciate you guys for watching, for subscribing. And I'll catch you next week, hopefully with the Lexi puppies.